Looking at this, you can tell this room needs organising. I've got a solution. I'm going to build a slatted shelf unit that will not only be practical, but it'll look fantastic and really add to the ambience of this room. These are all the tools that we're going to need. The beautiful thing is that I've got most of the timber that we're using today pre-cut at Bunnings. Using the pre-cut timber we've got from Bunnings, we're going to create and make the first frame to support the slats. First of all, you take the support beam and place it onto the main frame. Making sure when you do this, you allow room so that the finished slats finish nice and smooth on the end and the end panels do the same. Repeat for the other side. Lay out your frame, position your side rails, clamp and then we're going to fix it off with some nails. The slats form the top of your shelf. Use one of the slats as a spacer so you can evenly place all of the slats across your bench. Then we fix it down. If the last couple are a little bit out, what you do is just make a slight adjustment, even them out and make it perfect. Repeat the whole process again for your second shelf. Fill all your nail holes and gaps with wood putty. Once the putty's dry, give it a sand all over to give it a nice finish and remove all the sharp edges. I'm going to paint my shelves using an undercoat, then a top coat. If you're using a spray can, make sure you're in a well-ventilated area, got all of your personal protection equipment with you, including a respirator. Once the undercoat's dry, follow the same procedure for the top coat. To get the perfect finish, it's better to have multiple light coats than one heavy coat, allowing time to dry in between each of the coats. Repeat the same process for your other shelf. Now the shelves are done, it's time to make the legs. To attach your legs, place them in position and make sure they're flush at the top. Clamp them, pre-drill, countersink and then fix off. Repeat the same process for the remaining legs. Using the same process, attach the second shelf. Measure and mark exactly where you wish the shelf to go, then fix off. Repeat for the remaining fixing points on a lower shelf. Cut some insert pieces to fit onto the end. It's not structured, they're purely for looks to make sure that the whole piece looks finished. Putty the holes, give it a light sand, taking care with the painted edge. To finish off the raw timber, seal with a clear varnish. If you're not in a well ventilated area, remember, please wear a respirator. There we go, job complete. Took a bit of time to put in the slats, but I think totally worth it. Looks fantastic. Can't wait to get this in the home. As you can see, this slatted shelf unit looks absolutely awesome and will be a real compliment to any room in your house. This room really needed to be organised. This is the perfect solution. Not only does it give you one shelf, but two. Money's